KDE Plasma Tumbleweed users rejoice because we just got Plasma version 6.2.0. It released yesterday. The way Tumbleweed works is we don't get it until Tumbleweed thinks it's safe for us to get it, so we don't have to break anything. Next day delivery is pretty darn cool. So we're now sitting at Plasma version 6.2.0, KDE Frameworks version 6.6.0, QT version 6.7.3, kernel version 6.11.2-1. I am running Wayland. Have for a long time. I really dislike X at this point. So, reading from the KDE.org announcement, the first thing that comes up is for digital artists, Plasma 6.2 includes a smorgasbord of new features for users of drawing tablets and it just so happens that I have one new in plasma 6.2 a tablet calibration wizard and a test mode let's check that out so drawing tablet I have a test mode I don't see a wizard where's my wizard I want to cast firewall. No, I don't see a wizard. That might be something in the back end, kind of doing its own thing. But we have some settings. That's just the one I have. Follow the current screen. So whichever screen your mouse is on, that's the screen your tablet's going to work on. All screens goes all the way across. And specific screen. This is the other screen. This is this screen. I'm going to keep it on this screen. Because in testing, if I happen to skip over the line to get to the other screen, it was really hard for me to get it back. So I'm going to make it stay on this screen. We have fit to screen, keep aspect ratio, and fit within screen. I'm going to show you map portion of screen. You can set this down low. I'm going to set it to the bottom, hit apply. Now with my trusty handy little dandy pen, I am only in that confined area. For the whole tablet, the whole tablet gives me that that confined area. We go back to fit screen, and now the tablet, top left of the tablet, top right, middle, etc. And you can do specific things on pen buttons. Uh, defer to application, so you can set specific buttons in each application, or send a keyboard key, send a mouse click, do nothing. And that's for three buttons. That looks like all that I've got, really. Oh, I do have, let's, let's do the test tablet. And what do we have here? Huh. Alrighty, there's your test tablet. Working like a charm. All of this is built into Plasma. There's no need to install new drivers or software from device manufacturers. If your tablet is not yet supported, we care about your input with a clicky. I'll link this in the description below. And we care about your input is a community wide project that aims to provide support for unusual input devices. Let us know about your device so we can add it to the list. Very cool. Under color management, related to the above, and to ensure consistent colors across monitors, we've implemented more complete support for the Wayland color management protocol and have enabled it by default. We have also improved brightness handling for HDR and ICC profiles as well as HDR performance. That's cool. I'm a gamer. This will improve your experience when designing graphics, playing games, and watching videos. A new tone mapping feature will built into Plasma Win Quinn Compositor will help improve the look of images with a brightness or a set of colors greater than what the screen can display, thus reducing the blown out look such images can otherwise exhibit. And here we have a before and after according to KDE.org. Power Management Managing how much energy your system consumes and when are not only important for preserving its resources for when you need them, 
but also for using it in an environmentally responsible way. You can now override misbehaving applications that block the system from going to sleep. That is very cool. Sometimes I get up after eight hours of sleep and my computer's still wide awake because some application is blocking sleep. So that is very cool. Um, prevent misbehaving applications that block system from going to sleep or locking the screen and thus prevent saving power. And you can also adjust the brightness of each connected monitor separately. Really? Oh, cool. Check this out. Check this out. I can click that monitor. And I can set color profile. That's cool. Where's brightness? Oh, yes. I have two monitors. I have two brightness sliders. Oh, sweet. Oh, that is very cool. <laughs> that is very cool. <laughs> that is outstanding. As for the power and management widget, it not only shows how much power is remaining, but also allows you to adjust power profiles for each different scenarios. New in Plasma 6.2, hold down the Meta Windows key and press B to cycle through the different options one at a time. Meta and B. There it is. Very cool. A little badge of a leaf will show up and the battery icons indicates when the system in power save mode and a rocket for performance mode. That is very cool. And, yep, yeah, if you click, uh, yeah, right here, the little rocket means power and battery. Balanced, performance, nice little indicator for wireless mouse. I don't think that was there before, but I could be wrong. And sleep and, secure, sleep and screen locking after activity. OBS is currently blocking sleep and screen locking which i would want to keep that but i do have the option to unblock only this time or every time for this app so cool oh so cool on to discover and system updating another thing we put in put you in complete control of your software Plasma's built-in app store and software management tool Discover now supports post-market OS packages for your mobile devices. That's cool. I really want Plasma on my mobile phone and have for a long time. <sighs> anyway, helps you write better reviews of apps and presents apps license information. Presents apps license information more accurately. So let's check out discover uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. so this is a flat pack discord uh license proprietor oh that's clear that is cool size uh let's see let's go back to something i have i guess i have all these Ah, KDN Live. That's something I use all the time. License GPL 3.0. Size, version. Very, very descriptive. I love it. And it says you can write better reviews. I don't know how to write a review. I've never did a review, actually. Ah, documentation, website, report, bug. Configure permissions, nice. Oh, that's cool. This is this is also another flat flat pack. Let me go on to something else. Uh, okay, spectacle steam. Steam is not flat pack, so let's see what we can do here. Proprietary. There, what does this mean? Okay. 
can't click to review permissions full access you can also now choose to shut down the system after applying an, off an offline system update in addition to the existing option of restart afterwards that is that is good that's better i think personally i think that's better than restart but all right on to accessibility since we made improving accessibility a community-wide project and that is a clicky we have increased the ways in which Plasma is easy to use for everyone. In Plasma 6.2, we overhauled the System Settings Accessibility page and added colorblindness filters. We also added support for the full Sticky Keys feature on Wayland. Oh, that is good. I don't need it, but it's good for those that do. Um, it's one of, the, one of my disappointments. I don't need it, but I want it to be usable by everybody that can use it. You know what I mean? System bell, visual bell, flashes the screen whenever certain keys are pressed. Modifier keys, there's sticky keys you can enable. Lock sticky keys, disable when two keys are held down. Ring system bell when modifier keys are used. Got some feedback options, configure notification. Keyboard, keyboard filters, slow keys. Uh, bounce keys, bounce keys. Ignore rapid repeated key presses of the same key. Okay, that's for people with tremors. That's good. Mouse navigation. Use number pad to move mouse cur cursors. That's good. E activation shortcuts. Press shift five times to enable sticky keys. Okay. I know Windows has something very similar to that. Display confirmation dialog. Ring system bell. Show notification. Screen reader. I need Orca installed in order to configure screen reader. I think I'm going to do that in a future video. I'm going to see. Obviously, I'm. I don't need it, but I'm going to see what I think about it as somebody that don't need it. How well implemented it is. The screen reader should be awesome at this point. I have my Google phone reading books to me, not the reader version. I have Google phone reading pages to me. Color blindness correction. This is the one the article mentioned. Color blindness correction. Uh, enable. Protan. Protanopia. Red weak. Green weak. I'm not going to try to pronounce those. And blue yellow. So those are probably different versions of color blindness. And then intensity. Intense. I'm going to uncheck that. And then shake cursor, which I do have enabled. So when I spin, spin it around a lot, it gets really big. I, I like that just for my use case scenario. I lose, I have two big screens. I lose my cursor sometimes. And of course, improving the look and feel of Plasma is always a high pro priority from one release to the next. In Plasma 6.2, we tweaked accent colors and the system tray. Reworked the widgets for Explorer and unified the looks of dialogues and pop-ups. Finally, we improved the welcome center, sound effects, and actions. Many of these changes are subtle, but will provide a smoother and more enjoyable experience. So, uh, system tray. I see nothing different about the system tray. Just looking at it. Reworked widget explorer. Let's take a look at widget explorer. Uh, enter edit mode, add or manage widget, widgets. I'm going to test the weather anyway, so let's go ahead and get the weather one. Configure, enter location. Will it actually get me? Oh my goodness, it did. Sweet. Alrighty. So we'll look at that in a minute. Let's go back to the widgets. Enter edit mode, add widgets. I am not seeing any real difference. They seem to be a little more well organized. I'll give them that. Welcome center, we don't get on tumbleweed yet. More of that coming and soon. So all of this to weather report widget now shows feels like it's 72 degrees and it feels like 70. 
Nice little breeze. That is definitely better than it used to be. Something about it's definitely better than it used to be. Uh, yeah, I like that. I'll just put that right there for now. You can turn off window borders in the pager widget, which is this. Configure pager. I bet that's it. And it ended. I got no text. I can do desktop number, number, and desktop name. Show windows outlines. That's it. And yeah, I mean, okay. Selecting current shows the desktop. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really don't use these much. Oh, that's a pretty cool little option. So I, I can show desktop there and there. Kind of the same thing, but not bad. You can now give custom names to your custom shortcuts. I don't think I have any custom shortcuts. There's now an integrated cropping tool when setting a new user avatar. This one's cool. I've been thinking about this one for at least the last 10 minutes. So I want to set a new me. Aha. Uh -huh. Choose file. Cool. And LTL. LTL. That one. There it is. You can crop it. That's very cool. Hit OK. Hit Apply. There you go. That is too cool. And now it should be right here. There it is. Love it. And, and I, you've always been able to put a picture there, but to be able to crop it and actually make it the size you need to be, that is very cool. So we've added a once a year donation request notification. Please consider showing your love for plasma by donating. I am all about okay with this. Once per year, they're going to put up a little pop-up notification. I'm not sure when. It might be by your install anniversary, beginning of the year. I don't know. But once per year, it's going to say, hey, if you like us, consider donating. You're going to, most, most everybody's going to hit no thank you. And it's not going to bother you again for a full year. I'm good with this. That is, I have run out of listing I am about 20 minutes in so not too bad 20 minute video to show all of the new plasma 6.2 read directly from them and shown directly on the screen as much as I could happy day for plasma KDE tumbleweed users for sure I'm one of those happy campers like if you think it's worth liking subscribe if you think I'm worth subscribing to and until next time, thanks for watching.